more application of refraction of light is the, the phenomenon of the real depth and apparent depth. Uh, say for example, you are standing on the uh, on the side of a swimming pool and you are looking inside the swimming pool. The floor of the swimming pool appears uh, raised and that happens because of uh, refraction of light. And if we will study that in detail and look at the various aspects of the angles and the refractive index uh, while we uh, look at the real depth and the concept of apparent depth. So let us say we have uh, a container in which we have water and there is an object O placed inside this. So this is entire container is filled with water up to depth T and there is an object placed over here and I'm looking at it from the top. So the eye is over here and it is looking at this object. So this concept of real depth and apparent depth comes into play when you're looking at an object placed inside a denser medium from a medium which is rarer. So the eye is in the rarer medium and the object is in the denser medium. So when, you, when this person is looking at this object, a ray of light which comes out straight perpendicular to this interface will go straight undeviated without refraction. Another ray which goes at an angle will get deviated like this. It will bend away from the normal because it is traveling from denser medium to the rarer medium. So it goes like this and then it enters the eye. This ray enters the eye and the eye sees it. And when the eye sees it, it traces back straight. And this is where the image is formed. This is the object the image gets formed over here because the object traces it in a straight line like this and it sees it over here. So this is where the image gets formed. And as you can see over here, the object is over here, the image is get formed over here. So it gets raised by a distance d. And our objective is to find out this distance d. So if I look at the various angles over here, this is the angle of incidence i okay? and this is the angle of refraction over here. This is the normal angle i and angle r over here. And if you look at it from a geometry perspective, if this is angle r, this will also be angle r. As you can see over here, two parallel lines and then a transversal corresponding angle. So if this is r, this also will be r. Similarly, if this is angle i, this will also be angle i because again, two parallel lines, this is the transversal and these are alternate angles. So this angle is angle i and this angle is angle r. Okay, let us look at AO. What is AO or OA? Real depth. What is AI? AI. AI is the apparent depth. And AO minus AI. AO minus AI is the displacement OI, which is equal to distance t. Okay, let, let's move further. So, what ha what's happening over here? So, if I look at triangle OCA, where's triangle OCA? Triangle OCA. If I look at this particular triangle, then sine I is AC upon OC. This is OC. Remember, this is the 90 degree angle, so this is the hypotenuse OC. So, sine I is AC upon OC. If I look at triangle ICA, then sine R will be opposite side, that is AC upon IC, the hypotenuse, AC upon IC. Now, we know that the refractive index of the second medium, that is air in this case and water, is sine I upon sine R. But we are interested in the refractive index of the water because the, the, the phenomenon of real depth and apparent depth is being caused by this denser medium. So I am interested in finding out the refractive index of the denser medium with reference to the rarer medium. So the refractive index of water with reference to air would be inverse of this by principle of reversibility. So it will be sin r upon sin i. And now for sin r and sin i, I will put these values. So sin r is ac upon ic divided by sin i. Sin i is ac upon oc and AC upon IC multiplied by OC upon AC, AC, AC will get cancelled, so I will get OC upon IC. So, refractive index of water with reference to air is OC upon IC. Now, what is OC? OC is this and what is IC? IC is this. Now, as far as the eye is concerned, the eyes will be able to see this ray as well as this ray, only the aperture is small, and then we know that the aperture of eye is very very small, therefore it will be able to see both these rays only if they are very close to each other. So this ray actually will be very 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 close to this particular line, it is not that they are so far apart, they are very very close to each other, only then they can be seen the eye. So if that is the case, then OC can be taken as OA, because this distance will be very very small, AC will nearly tend to be zero, so OC and OA will be equal. So for OC, I can write down OA and for IC, similarly IC, I can write down IA. So I get OA upon IA and therefore the refractive index 
of water with reference to air will be OA upon IA. What is OA? OA is real depth, IA is apparent depth, so real depth upon apparent depth. This is how we get the relationship between the refractive index of the medium and real depth and apparent depth. Moving further, OI, OI is OA minus IA, the real depth minus apparent depth. This is the displacement. So I can take out OI common, 1 minus IA upon OA. So I get this and what is OA? OA is the depth or the depth of the water, the total, the total thickness of this particular medium you can say T. So T 1 minus IA upon OA. We know that IA upon OA is 1 upon refractive index. So 1 upon refractive index of water with reference to A. And therefore we get this equation displacement D is T into 1 minus 1 upon refractive index of water with reference to A. Please note that this is the refractive index of the denser medium with reference to the, the rarer medium. And thus we get displacement D. And as you can see in this equation, the displacement D, how much does the object appear to be up? What is the displacement? Depends upon thickness. So more the thickness of the medium, we will see the, this effect more. And it also depends upon the refractive index of the medium. So it also so as the refractive index of this medium increases this term will become smaller this term will become so you'll be subtracting a smaller sum from one and therefore you will have a larger number over here and therefore d will increase so larger the refractive index more deviation will happen and you will get more displacement this is how the displacement is affected by the thickness of the medium and the refractive index of the medium thank you